lot of people came into Chicago last weekend. Uh, some of them were generals and officials and heads of state and government and prime ministers and presidents. And they were there for the NATO, the summit meeting of the North, so-called North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Now, this is North Atlantic Treaty Organization, although they seem to think the North Atlantic now includes Afghanistan and Pakistan and Syria and Libya. Uh, but it's a, a gang of imperialist criminals of basically colonial countries who want to dominate those parts of the world. I think they have the right to dominate them. And uh, many thousands more came from around the country to protest uh, their plans for endless war, for new wars against poor people in Asia and Africa, and uh, to protest their plans for endless war spending at a time when military budgets are devastating communities, communities around this country. And among those thousands who came in, there were several hundred who came to attend a very different kind of summit. And that was the launch of the U.S. country chapter of the International League of People's Struggle. Uh, the ILPS, uh, and I'm proud to say we played, the, through the International Action Center, we played an important role in that happening. Uh, the ILPS is an international formation of uh, nearly 400 organizations in 43 countries. It includes, uh, in my article this week, I call it the anti-NATO because it includes uh, <coughs> independent left trade unions in Indonesia and in the Philippines. It includes the largest union in Australia, the Construction, Mining, and, Man and Energy Union. It includes the Labor Federation of Guatemala. It includes the Asia Pacific Peasant uh, <coughs> Alliance, which has 15 million members in Southeast Asian countries. It includes the Domestic Workers Organization in Hong Kong. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an alliance of organizations of workers and peasants and uh, students and indigenous people and environmental fighters and LGBT people and women's rights activists all, on all six continents. And here in this country, we're a part of it. We joined in 2008. And uh, the launching of a U.S. country chapter, um, it'll be the fifth country chapter, the other, as opposed to being individual member organizations. As a result, there will now be a functioning U.S. country chapter to join existing country chapters in the Philippines, Indonesia, Canada, and Australia. Uh, 28 organizations were present at the launching, um, including uh, nine that were new to the ILPS, including the largest force. The, the ILPS was initiated by the, by the uh, revolutionary movement in the Philippines, and its chair is uh, Jose Maria Sesson, who's a Philippine uh, revolutionary leader and uh, who founded the, the, the uh, communist, refounded, led the refounding of the Communist Party of the Philippines in the 1960s and has been living in exile in the Netherlands for 25 years. He was imprisoned for, year, for nine years under the Marcos dictatorship. He was held in chains, to, chained to his bed in a cell for years. Um, and so the largest force in, uh, in uh, the ILPS in the U.S. is still Bayan, Bayan USA, which is, is the U.S. chapter of the, new of the New Democratic Alliance of the, New Patriotic Alliance of the Philippines. And uh, Bayan had its own uh, national conference on Friday, uh, the Friday before the Chicago, Friday the 18th. And uh, the, 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 it was time to have the Bayan Conference and the ILPS Conference together in Chicago that weekend precisely because of the thousands that were converging there to protest against NATO. And what we had was a, a wonderful anti-imperialist uh, assembly that uh, brought together uh, the impact of imperialism at home and around the world. Um, it was opened by a Skype message from Jose Maria Sasson. There were about 300 people there, about half of, a bit more than half of whom were members of Bayan, but this is well. It was opened by Jose Maria Sasson, who gave a message over Skype. We were welcomed to Chicago by Fred Hampton, Jr., uh, the chair of the 
Black Panther Club, P Prisoners of Conscious Collect Conscience Collective, but who, as comrades know, is the son of the martyr deputy chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, Fred Hampton, who was murdered in a police raid along with Mark Clark on December 4th, 1969. Um, the, the Consul General of Venezuela, Jose Rodriguez y Espinosa, also to Chicago, also welcomed the conference. And uh, Carlos Montes spoke, who was, uh, was one of the founders of the Brown Berets, who is now facing federal charges in a frame up. Uh, he lives in LA, and uh, he's one of the 23 people targeted by the FBI investigation uh, for, for, of solidarity activists in Minneapolis and Chicago and LA and the Southwest and Southern California. Um, both the Bayon Conference and, and the, um, um, and also several other, several, sorry, several other of those activists spoke as well. Hatem Abudaya of the U.S. Palestinian Community Network, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Yosbacher and Stephanie Yorick of the Freedom Road Socialist Organization. Um, Comrades, uh, a, co a coordinating committee was elected, which includes now comrades uh, John Parker, Larry Hales, Abiyomi Ezekwe, and myself, uh, and, Ka and Kazim, uh, Kazim from Solidarity with Iran, which also joined ILPS. Uh, and it was, a, it was just a tremendously spirited gathering, both the Bayan Conference. The Bayan Conference, they would do things like when uh, <laughs> different parts of the country and introduce themselves, different chapters, they, everyone would get up and do a chant like, uh, So Cal, So Cal, from Southern California, So Red, So Red. <laughs> uh, so it's, 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 uh, it's um, Chairman Fred spoke about the history, this history of Chicago and the class struggle from Haymarket to the, the Black Panthers, to the, the, the uh, racist uh, pogroms of 1919 up through 68 to the present. Um, uh, Malcolm Gee, who was the General Secretary of ILPS for Montreal, spoke about the fascist repression going on in Quebec right now where uh, a three-month-old student strike has been in progress and uh, the Quebec uh, legislature has passed a law banning demonstrations and banning people from wearing the symbol of the strike. Uh, but I understand there was a demonstration of 250,000 people yesterday uh, against this. Um, the gathering was held in El Centro Autonomo, which is a, uh, a Mexican, uh, Mexicano community organization in, in Albany Park which is a mostly immigrant neighborhood in Chicago, similar to uh, parts of West Queens here. And uh, we elected the coordinating committee, we adopted a general program of action, and uh, we look forward to working together. Uh, it's a, I think it's a great um, outwell and that provides a great opportunity for the, uh, for the party and for the IAC. And in practice, uh, the next day, um, the ILPS contingent, which was together with the committee to stop it, we, we marched in the ILPS contingent, which was right second, it was called the Anti-Imperialist and National Liberation Contingent. It included the ILPS, the committee to stop FBI repression, and the Palestinian community. And um, so we were right behind the lead contingent, which was the veterans, and it was just a, a uh, wonderful, uh, Disciplined anti-imperialist contingent. It reminded me of Yoff, the way Bayan, the, the way the Bayan folks in particular, who were the provided most of the marshals and so on, organized it and coordinated the uh, and the considerations they took into account. It was a, and um, except with some flourishes, we don't have like they would do some you know waving of the flags in unison and sort of drill drill type maneuvers that. Uh, um, really uh, livened up the march. We ended with a, a, a short rally at the end of the march where Carmen's Larry and uh, Abiyomi spoke. And there's more in the, in the issue, of the, in this, there's an article in this issue of the paper that tells more, but uh, it was a very good way to begin the week. Well, we actually didn't begin it, but it was a very good part of the weekend in Chicago. And uh, thank you.